You should not be hard on hardware. Take care of them. Like we burned our board. It happened because we used another cable which was not provided by the Yantra team, and I think that caused the problem. So you should use the things that is provided by the Yantra team, or you should at least contact to the instructor before you doing anything other than what is instructed to you. Scrolling through Piazza is like one of the best way to debug everything. Everybody faces these problems. The instructors are always there to answer these questions. Most of the times, when we feel stuck in hardware cases, we had a solution in the Piazza forum. Not every time it's a hardware problem. Your code is running exactly right is not that one should think. Until unless you are at that point that you have spent hours on your code. and uh, you're having a headache from seeing the code every day <laughs> then only then you should go and switch over to checking your hardware have designs that you can easily you know edit as in if there's some problem anywhere well during the test run you need to be able to you know adjust or change the positions of certain sensors or something always have backup of all the you know devices because you never know Which one might get damaged? So you need to have uh, at least two or three of each uh, component so that you can easily replace. Program it in such a way that it's going to go into some hardware. It's not not just going to be on the computer. So you need to be careful about the timing considerations and all that because when you actually implement it on hardware, it'll be it'll behave completely differently. Program it in such a way that you spend uh, more time debugging and understanding the. how it works so that you can debug it in a more uh, proper way and then you know having a modular approach that everything will be you know separated from each other so that you can actually identify where the problem is you don't have to search through 10000 lines of code if you have it separated in a modular fashion it's much better to debug there was a problem with the color sensing and the pwm part of it so not the color sensing the pwm part of it so Had I written it all in one single file, then I'll have to, you know, scroll down and actually find out where the problem is. But now that I know the problem is in the PWM, had I I did it in a modular approach. I had a separate module for PWM, so I just had to go there and adjust the uh, duty cycle. So I didn't have to, you know, go through other uh, programs and I didn't have to meddle with that. So everything else was perfect. Only this one was a problem, so I could actually go and correct it. before you actually do it in verilog you should you know go for tried and tested algorithm that is you try it on some other language you're more comfortable with when you're you know more satisfied with that working out then you go and actually implement it on hardware because otherwise there might be you know infinite loops or something you never know what might happen so that might cause problems on the hardware it might even damage it so suggest you know try and test it out before you actually you know put it in your uh, machine working with hardware you always face challenges um, you know more challenges than something heating up something not working and you might even damage your components the way some teams did the main thing is to never give up 